I seem to have got a lot of questions about the Apple ID, one setting one up and also how to manage it. Right now I'm here looking at iTunes and it doesn't matter whether you're on a Mac or a PC. And one way that you can set up an Apple ID, and an Apple ID is required to get things like music and things on iTunes and to purchase stuff. You also need that Apple ID to do other things such as link it up to an Apple TV whether you've purchased content or not. So one way you can do it is by going into sign in and down here choosing create Apple ID in the box that appears. If I click on that it's going to take me to a screen where I can actually fill that in. But not everyone has iTunes and sometimes you need an Apple ID regardless. Or you might want to create an Apple ID which also works as an email address. So the other way that you can do it is to go to a website that they have and they don't kind of really let you know about this website Apple unless you ask them. So if you go here and if I type in my website address of appleid.apple.com and there it is right there and I'm just going to choose that. So it's just appleid.apple.com you'll see at the top here it's filled in some extra bits you don't have to know that. So firstly there is create an Apple ID and I can click on that and you'll see it gives you information here as well. So the thing about the Apple ID is it's used for a number of things. It's used for the Apple iTunes store. It's used for enabling iCloud so you can back up your devices. It also allows you to buy from the online store as well. So if you want to buy anything from Apple that's quite handy. And you can also use it as well for purchasing apps on devices such as your iPhone and iPad and also you would use it as well for purchasing books, newspapers, magazines, things like that. So the Apple ID is really important. You can also now manage your Apple ID by just clicking here and you can then sign in. And if I sign in what I get is the ability to change my name. So I've seen people who've had a problem with their name, they've got the wrong name there. They might have made a typo when they first set everything up and then all your emails are going out incorrectly. You've also got the opportunity to change your password and security down the side here. So you can click on that. You can go to addresses and change your address. You can put phone numbers in and you've also got a chance to change language and contact preference as well. So if you chose not to get emails from Apple and you've decided that you do or newsletters and things about what's new on iTunes and other offers you can now go and click those and hit save changes. So you can sign out right there. So that is how you can actually set up your Apple ID and actually how you can manage it as well.